Hey guys, welcome to Unreal Labs. Today we're going to configure a trunk between two Cisco switches. Um, in my lab I have a Cisco 3750. That'll be switch 3. And, then, and I have a Cisco 3560. That'll be switch 4. Um, I've got two virtual machines uh, connected to each one of these switches. Uh, lab 1 and I have a lab 2. Um, in this lab today i'm gonna i'm gonna add those i'm gonna create a vlan 100 um, i'm gonna add both of those hosts to it and then i'm gonna configure a trunk between these two switches so i can have vlan uh 100 cross between here so these these two hosts can can talk it's gonna be pretty pretty simple lab here's the ip information for <clears throat> vlan one that's my native vlan right now and then um VLAN 100 will be where the two hosts are going to reside, and that's their IP space. So right now, um, everything's accessible. Uh, both the ports that these hosts are in are, are not configured, so they're stuck in VLAN 1 right now, pretty much. So we're going to jump right in and start configuring um, Lab 1 and Lab 2, and we're going to first start with creating VLAN 100 on both of these switches here. So I'm directly connected to switch three. So we'll do a show VLAN brief. And we can see that there is no VLAN 100. So let's configure VLAN 100 real quick. So VLAN 100, oops, not 1200, 100. And name it, uh, we'll name it HR. Uh, that sounds good. And then let's take a look at, just make sure we're in the right interfaces, connected. And you can do a show interface status, right? Just a tip, and you'll see <clears throat> every port. If you pipe it, pipe, you get options here. If we hit question mark, you'll have some options so you can do all kinds of things. So I want to include, and then I'm looking for the word connected there. So we'll do just a tip connected. And that just shows the two ports that are, that are currently connected. So both the ports are in VLAN one. We can check. Let's uh, actually check the configuration on both these ports. So show run interface gig 1011 nothing on it just wanted to make sure and then 24 nothing on it <clears throat> so let's tell that over to i like to do the far side first really um tell over to switch four and let's see what this has show inter show interface status include connected We've got two interfaces there too, both connected. Show run interface FA013. So let's check on the drawing here. We're going to check this side. So um, let's see what that's doing. And that's there's no config on that. And let's look at gig 01. No config on that. So good. We're pretty much starting at zero here. And let's create. VLAN 100 on switch 4, so VLAN 100, you go into configure config T, VLAN 100, and then name it HR. Alright, um, VLAN 100, so right now I have VLAN 100 on both switches. We're not using VTP, so uh, we're not using the client server for our VLAN distribution. Um, so let's go ahead and put both of these hosts in VLAN 100. I'm going to, oh, we'll do this one first. So config T interface FA13, because that's where host 2 is at. And switch port mode access, switch port access, oops, if I can spell. 
VLAN 100. And I'll put a description lab two. All right, so let's check some connectivity. We had connectivity before because um, it didn't really matter. It was just everything was writing on VLAN one. But now if we ping from lab one to two, we get timeouts here. So we've lost connectivity between the hosts. So we need to be able to bring VLAN one we need to bring this VLAN 100 all the way through here so we can get get connectivity. All right, let's go back. I'm trying to go a little slow but um just so if you're new to this, you can you can see the screen and I'm hoping you can understand. It's this is a pretty basic real basic configuration. All right, so switch four is done. Let's exit this, and we're now in switch three. Show VLAN brief. We have that VLAN. Remember, we did that first. So let's go into big T, and we'll be interface gig 1011, I believe. Yeah, 1011. All right. And we'll do the same thing on this side. So switch port. Mode access, switch port access, VLAN 100, description lab 1, show run interface VLAN, or no, VLAN, gig 1011, and we'll just see what's on it, and it looks good. So just what you guys think at home, I don't know, but what do you guys think? Do we have connectivity now? Uh, take a guess before I hit enter. All right, here we go. We have connectivity. Nope, and that's why, because we don't have, we haven't done the trunk yet. So now let's get to the trunk. So let's go, I like to start on the far side first, so I don't lose connectivity. I'm consoled into switch three, so <clears throat> let's do that side first. Well, if I lose connectivity, at least that side's configured is what I mean. Uh, Telnet. Switch four. And let's show interface status again. Whoops. Well, we know it's actually gig01, so let's just go into it. Config T, interface gig01. So these are the commands you'll use for setting up the trunk on that. So switch port, trunk, encapsulation, we're going to be using... Uh, let's do the options here, as you can see. So you have ISL and you have .1Q. We're, today we're going to do .1Q. You could also do negotiate, and it would pick between the two. But .1Q is the standard, so let's use that. And then switch board mode trunk. And we might lose connectivity once we did that. Looks like we're still good. If... Gig 1024 on this side would have been set to an access port. We would have lost connectivity. Right now it's setting itself up, so. Oh, maybe I did lose connectivity. Should come back here in a, in a sec. Yeah, there we go. Perfect. So let's do show interface status again. Include connected and see what, what it says. We should see trunk here instead of... Uh, so now we changed that from 100 and this is now a trunk. So we're, we're looking good on switch 4. You guys want to try connectivity? Let's try it real quick. See what happens. Oh, look at that. We're pinging. So we have connectivity. So if we're on switch three, let's go back there and show interface status. Uh, include connected. And it should reflect it's a trunk. But uh, a detail would be that if we show run interface, we looked at the configuration on 24. We won't have anything. That's not a good place to be. So let's make sure we have a good configuration there. So config T interface gig 1024. 
and let's do the same command switch port trunk encapsulation dot one q switch port trunk or excuse me switch port mode trunk put a description i don't think i put a description on the other one but we'll do switch the trunk sounds good then. all right so pretty simple with some basic commands we've configured and we'll do the test we'll, let's do a connectivity test again so as you can see we're still from lab one to lab two we're good let's go the other way so if we might as well so ping 192.168.100.10 that's lab one and you can see we're good that way also so with some basic commands uh We've configured a trunk port between two switches, the switch three and switch four. We've put two workstations into VLAN 100. Um, and we've tested connectivity between both of them. Uh, appreciate your time. Appreciate your time today. And uh, please like and subscribe. If you have some questions or you want to see uh, something else, maybe I can help you with it. Leave a comment below and we'll talk to you soon. Thanks again.